What's up, everyone? It's Tom Dizzo here. Uh, <clears throat> I hope you guys had a great weekend, as always. Uh, today, I just want to kind of go over one of the topics that, you know, you guys been asking me a lot, uh, not like me specifically, but uh, it's it's more like, a, you know, in after hours, also in main chat, almost like every single day. Uh, I think a lot of people are still struggling uh, to find, uh, you know, what sort of strategy that fits, you know, them the best. And so, yeah, so, you know, uh, today I just, you know, uh, want to kind of give my thoughts about it. Uh, it's more like, you know, finding your own style of trading. You know, it's it's not something that, you know, you can do it over, I don't know, like, you know, one or two weeks or like a month or one or two months or something like that. It took me, you know, probably I would say three or four years for me to find, you know, uh, what strategy is the best for me, for my personality. And also, uh, you know, I've been tracking all the stats, you know, all the, uh, the, the strategy that uh, uh, I've been trading so far for the last few years to come up with uh, which one suits me the best and which one I'm more like, yeah, you know, so I could become a CVT, right? Consistently profitable trader. Uh, yeah, so, you know, let's go on. Uh, you know, let's uh, get into this. Uh, yeah, today, not, likely, I'm not going to go over, you know, charts, uh, you know, more my, on my trades, more of. But it's, it's more like, you know, uh, like a psychology or like, you know, you want to call it. Uh, it's just like, you know, general info kind of video uh, just basically to help you guys figure it out you know uh, how to uh, pick a good setup or like you know how to pick uh, which strategy or which setup uh, you know it uh, suits like more like suits you the best uh, or like you know it's the best for you uh, yeah I mean you know as you can see a lot of times what I've been doing you know it's I'm, I'm basically I'm a scalper right uh that's what i do daily and this is like my main sort of uh you know more like income or like pnl wise that's where all my money comes from and you know yes uh you know i'm not the type of trader that could uh bang or like you know make huge amount of money uh no i'm not that type right uh, but i just find myself uh doing this and you know it's just like what works for me and i feel real comfortable uh you know uh executing the trade like like you know some of us it could be really fast i'm, I'm not suggesting and you need to use hotkeys and all that but you know if it, it takes you like i don't know uh maybe 20 or 30 seconds you, you know choose the order and fill out or like you know sending out the order out but maybe the scalping uh that way is it's really not for you right maybe should consider something you may be uh, like a you know swinging a stock or like you know for you aiming for a bigger move instead of you know 10 cents or 20 cents over and over again right and and so you know uh, we have long strategy or short strategy low hanging fruit death line first red day uh, all those uh, uh, you need just need to kind of pick one and and go from there and I think that's that's the best way how to kind of uh, navigate through that but for me uh, all that strategy in MIC and a cube with uh, I just picking from H1 uh, you know how James uh, you know trades or how Alex Bow trades or how Harry or like Austin trade in a long time I try to you know to combine all that, also enjoying large caps. Sometimes you could see, you know, first red day. Sometimes I even play options, right? On something like, you know, AMD or Tesla, uh, when, you know, shares is just like way too big. You can, you know, trade with your, like, uh, normal shares. Uh, I'm going with options, so and I have pretty fine risk. And, and with all that, I mean, through times and experience, screen time experience, it will help a lot. And if you, can pick up the brain like you know from each person and then try you know to find uh, 
uh, the best of each person and then you can combine it and you know to fit into your strategy I think that's the best and because everyone is different every single person here yes the strategy might be the same the overall picture might be the same but the way we trade might be different each of us okay everyone we have our own identity uh, or like the own way our own way of thought our own way of thinking about the stock yes like the overall picture it's you know shorting your stock or likely it's gonna go down right it's just like the timing of it might be different okay I'm not sure no I, I can really explain it to you uh, it's more like you know yes I mean in general like big term picture I mean could do it in a watch list like let's say 5.5 and 6 right you're gonna put orders out and that's that's it right but a lot of times you know you can see me for example I'm you know shorting into this uh, 540 and I'm covering into this 520 right but for someone like Alex no he wouldn't do that he would wait for 5.5 and then call it 5 5.10 here or like bow he would wait all the way to 5.6 and cover all the way into this support from you know 4.8 so it really depends on how we execute the trade and how we be able to kind of read that in the real-time executions like you know real-time trading you 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 know that is easier said than done right the real-time executions or real-time trading it's it's something totally different I mean you might be watching the videos a lot but when it comes to that real-time everything will change right so you have to kind of combine all that and and try to come up with your own more like a personal style and uh, to fit uh, you know to like basically to make you comfortable with that setup or to make you comfortable with that executions uh, yes the big term picture is the same but uh, that's how I don't know and you know that could be like I just want to kind of explain it to you guys like that it's not that really simple yes trading is really simple if you think about it but it's not easy because the emotions got in and everyone is different right maybe you got your emotions involved in that trade more than me like let's say 90% of your emotions are getting involved in that trade it's different than me you know I'm only letting 10% of my emotions 